Hey everybody, this is Mark Corradetti, and uh, this week we've got a really cool question. What made you decide to play bass? What was the beginning of all, of all that? Well, in my case, um, I had a few groups of friends, and um, we were really into the Beatles at the time. I think it was about 1980, and I was about 14, and they had a little bit more experience than I did playing the guitar. And someone said, hey, we need a bass player. So it's like the old, you know, by default thing. Well, I took to it pretty, you know, well. And <clears throat> I noticed that there weren't very many bass players. So I just stuck with it. And um, that's how I started playing bass. And, um, you know, <clears throat> as I got a little older, I got a little bit more of a personality on it. And um, I kind of, it's kind of a sense of pride, you know, just you know, being one of the only bass players at the time back in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, at least in my little circle, my little world of, uh, you know, high school and junior high and stuff. So to me, it was kind of cool. It's kind of a badge of honor, a badge of honor that I wear proudly to this day. And um, that's it. That's That's how I got started. I liked it, you know, so I just stuck with it. So that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. Hope you all have a great day, and uh, um, that's it. Today is November 3rd. It's a voting day, so um, I already voted, and that's about it. That's how I started. It's why I started, and um, that's all I got. Talk to you soon, and have a pleasant one. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and um, the I'd say if there was a moment when I realized like I wanted to be a bassist, um, one thing that happened was I think I was probably in like either ninth grade, and uh, I was hanging out with, at a friend's house, and we were listening to Nirvana, and um, my friend I knew from like being in band, and I had played drums at the time, and he was a saxophone player, and we were just hanging at his house listening to records, and for some reason he had borrowed a bass from another friend of his who had played bass in the jazz band. And um, the bass was just kind of hanging out in his room, and we were listening to Nirvana, and I heard Come As You Are, and I was like, oh, like, I really, really think I could play that on that instrument over there. And he says, oh, well, you can't. You might break it. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, how could I pick up a bass and break it trying to play a Nirvana song. And he says, well, you just can't touch it. It's not mine. Like, like you're not allowed to touch that bass. And for some reason, the combination of being told not to, not to touch the bass and listening to Nirvana and hearing this, like, very iconic do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do, you know, bass line just stuck in my head. And I was like, no, I think I really do want to play that. Um, and that was the kind of thing that, I think was the catalyst at the very first that made me want to go and you know convince my dad to help me buy a Fender Squire starter pack type thing and uh, basically so I could prove my friend wrong and uh, get my hands on a bass so that was probably uh, one of the key moments that led to me becoming a bass player All right everything bass how are you guys doing this is Maurice from Los Angeles hope everybody is well um, what was the moment I knew I wanted to become a bassist? Well, in short, I, uh, as a young man, I was homesick from school and I had a really um, up and down sleep pattern. I remember for the, one of the very first times I ever see the show, it's called Don Kirshner's Rock Concert. And this is gotta be early 70s. Um, and uh, so I see that show it comes on at midnight, Don Kirshner's Midnight Rock Show or something to that nature, but I see Kiss on there. And, um, Prior to this moment, I had a big interest in rock music, but uh, I wanted, you know, I was playing sports. I wanted to be a professional athlete, football player, and uh, I see Kiss on that concert that, that one night when I'm home in uh, trying to recover from a flu or something like that, and I see that, and that just changes my world, man. I have to uh, have to investigate this, and uh, and it just became my favorite thing. There was nobody in my in my household that was into that kind of music, but my brother was a big influence on my music. But that was the moment I knew I wanted to be a musician. I just loved the hugeness of that show and the uh, the theatrics and the rock music. It was just heavy, and that appealed to me um, appealed to me a lot. 
But uh, yeah, I grew up in an era where um, rock music was, was the top entertainment form or one of them. And uh, it just was a very fun era to grow up in and, and discover being a you know, musicianship and things like that. So very thankful for those moments in those days and glad I still do it today. But looking forward to talking to you people next week. So keep the groove on and uh, stay safe. Bye. Hello, all. Um, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I'm reshooting my video for which we can all be thankful because it was quite long the first time, so long that it didn't upload. So I will concisely answer the question in, um, in haste. What caused me to want to become a bass player? Uh, in general, it was the fact that music was all around my house, in the family, and I uh, couldn't learn guitar very well at all. So I went to the strength of being able to hear melody, thanks to my mother being a wonderful uh, pianist, and applied it to the bass. In 2014, I went to a blues jam, and after a very disheartening experience, another player came and gave me some advice and just encouraged me to come back, and I started taking it very seriously. And now, I cannot imagine my life in any other way except filled with music and making it and being a part of it. And uh, Mr. Steve Vai, said years ago uh, about the question should I make uh, my career and my life out of music and he said if you have to ask that question then no for me there's nothing else I can do I cannot see anything else worthwhile worth spending my life spending my time um, sacrificing to do and this year has certainly been a testimony to that uh, as difficult as it has been I won't buckle, I won't bend and go and get some terrible and miserable nine to five job, which for me it would be. Um, I'm willing to take the sacrifices and the hits and all, all that comes with the unpleasant side of the music business and still maintain the integrity of being a musician. That is my life, that is my job. It is what I believe I was put here on this planet to do is make music and be a part of it. And I um, thank you for this um, opportunity, and I look forward to these questions every week. Hope you all have a good time. Hey, happy Sunday. Roy Vogt here from Nashville. And as you can see, I'm not in my um, studio. I'm actually at a hardware store getting some wood. We're doing some projects. Uh, but what made me want to become a bassist? Well, let's see, that's a combination of uh, obviously the Beatles and the Monkees and all the British Invasion bands. And then a little bit later, one of my best friends got a guitar and he started playing with bands and there were never bass players for him. So there were guys playing detuned guitars. And I thought, hey, I always wanted to play with this guy. If I buy a bass guitar, um, I can... Uh, I can play with him, and at the same time, I was a baritone horn player in the in the junior high band, and they said we were going to start a jazz band, which way back in the day they called a stage band. And when we started the stage band, I, th I thought, oh, this is great, can I come and play? And they said, no, we don't really need a baritone horn, um, which is what I played, but we do need a bass. And I saw the opportunity, and I... Uh, talked my folks into not getting me a bass and an amplifier, but giving me permission to buy a bass and an amplifier for those of you who are overindulged kids. Uh, no, I, I got permission to earn the money and get that. And then after working on the loading dock for my dad's company for the whole summer, I saved my money and bought the EBO clone that you've seen in the earlier video because of Jack Bruce and my influences when I first started and the people I wanted to follow were Noel Redding with the Jimi Hendrix experience, I don't know if you can see that shirt, but also the Jacks, Jack Cassidy and Jack Bruce. Anyway, that's the answer to what made me want to play bass and hopefully that uh, 
I will be uh, talking to you guys soon. Now I gotta load some lumber. Wow, so what made me decide to be a bassist? Well, in all honesty, I started off as the world's worst guitar player. Um, I loved playing rhythm guitar, hated playing solos. I, I couldn't figure out the mechanics behind it. I didn't think I was very creative. And plus when I soloed, I didn't like how the, the power of the rhythm stopped. So, um, so then I was in a band with a great bass player, Tom Dahl, and uh, I just always loved hearing him play. And uh, he left the band, we had two guitar players, so I took over as bassist. And that first night, man, I, I put on Iron Maiden's Killers album and I could figure it out. And I could figure out how he was doing it. It made sense to me. So, I don't know, maybe the bass chose me. But, uh, and then, then I realized that what I really enjoyed about performing live was the groove, the power and everything. Um, and which was kind of what I felt when I played rhythm guitar. I loved that, you know, just driving the band and feeling that weight of the rhythm guitar chords, which of course I get to do all the time with bass. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I like to think of it as the bass chose me. I messed around with trumpet, then I had a horrible stint as a guitar player, and then finally ended up as a bassist. And from then, man, everything just fell in place. The instrument seemed like an extension of me, and um, yeah, that's my story. That's what made me decide. I guess uh, having uh, the bass player leave was the, the catalyst for it, but then just falling in love from the very first night I played that first note, just knowing that's what I wanted to be. There you go.